A fifth surge Shelby County COVID cases skyrocketing tonight and health officials say the increase is fueled by holiday celebrations and that highly contagious Omicron variant. The biggest spike we saw this weekend happened Monday after Christmas. Take a look here. The health department reported 1500 new cases in that 24 hour period. WRAG's Bria Jones spoke with the county's top doctor and gives us a look at the latest numbers. Startling new data released from the show department showing more than 5,000 new COVID-19 cases reported since Christmas Eve. Unfortunately, we knew this was coming as soon as we knew that Omicron was in the community. Uh, but it's always shocking when you see it in black and white. The county now reporting a record high seven day rolling average of 956 cases. Health Department Director Dr. Michelle Taylor is urging people not to become complacent with COVID protocols and get vaccinated and if eligible, boosted. That's a lot of cases. That's a lot of people who are sick in the community. There are probably very few people in the community right now who don't know somebody who's positive or at least having symptoms. As wait times for testing for some surpass hours, even with sites reopening today, Taylor says the county is working to meet the growing demand. And we are looking at plans to ramp up testing capacity even more with a potential couple more sites. In the meantime, Taylor says she can't issue a mask mandate, but believes Memphis and surrounding communities need to mask up to save lives. The best thing I can do is remind everyone that private businesses can implement those mitigation efforts on their own. It's the right thing to do for business. It protects their employees and it protects the clients. In Shelby County, Bria Jones, WREG News Channel 3. And you can find a link to current testing sites and vaccine clinics on our website. Just go to WREG.com.